Okay, so we've just uh, just finished up with this little 90. It's actually come in for a tune, been uh, exported to Spain. So that in mind, we need to make sure we don't push this thing too hard. Make sure that temperatures stay well within their normal expected sort of range, everything's behaved. So the vehicle spec on this 90, power wise, is a live ultimate intercooler, free flowing exhaust, and a, uh, a standard airbox in our live tune. And look where we've ended. 181, 419 newtons of torque. So what you're looking at there is an overlay of what the vehicle was like when it was presented as a standard vehicle, standard ECU, standard map on the ECU. And uh, what you've got is the difference here. This is the standard power at the wheels, the standard brake horsepower, and the standard torque on here, where we are now. Horsepower, so much, a huge improvement. And, uh, and also the torque, and uh, the gains start off right at the beginning of the rev range, so from the word go. So what we're looking at here on the graph, I've got a little cursor, essentially I can just sort of drag it across. And uh, let's, pick, let's pick this, uh, this value here. So we're looking at the, the peak value that talk, of torque and uh, we made 419 newtons with the, uh, with the stage 2 mapping and uh, as standard at that point just under 300 newtons. So for those that are interested in seeing the difference in a different sort of format without all of the other data on the, on the power graph this is torque. This is the difference between remap and standard. So 419 newtons versus 300 newtons standard. Here we have the difference between horsepower and standard and tuned. Massive difference. Hopefully explaining some of these things will give you a better understanding of what happens on the day of the remap. The remap is actually a reprogramming of the engine ECU to control the engine in a different way, which to our benefit can create more power. It's not always about power tuning. In some cases, what we actually do is make alterations to the ECU to clean up the emissions, especially on this generation of Defender. You often see lots of Defenders driving along, smoking too much. And that's why they're brought in in some cases, to have that improved, have that cleaned up. There's a saying, no smoke, no poke. I'm not so sure on that one, not always, not always the, the case. So it does depend on the scenario. We're often tuning vehicles up to 180 horsepower with visually no smoke. If you're watching these videos and you do like what we're putting out there and you do appreciate these videos, let us know. Give us a like, subscribe, share it, comment on the videos. We will give you a reply. So. Hopefully stay tuned and we'll keep these, uh, these updates coming, whether it's a vlog with the race car at the racetrack or a car that we've got in the dyno that's been tuned, whether it's a race car, an off-road vehicle, general Land Rover. We'll keep these, uh, we'll keep these videos coming as long as, we, uh, as long as we get some responses from you, uh, you followers. Thank you.